Soweto. Most people will remember this place for the role it played in the struggle against racial segregation. 20 years after the end of apartheid, inside South Africa's biggest black township, another image is emerging. Soweto is on fire for God. People come here and they really sense they've had an encounter with God. Grace Bible Church is where it's happening. They began in 1983 with a handful of people. It has now more than 15,000 members and 11 satellite churches across South Africa. Moso Sono is the senior pastor. God said, if you seek me, you'll find me. If you long for me, if you seek for me with all your hearts. I think the, the, the Africa is very hungry for God. And the proof is in the numbers. For four months, researchers crisscrossed South Africa and 18 sub-Saharan African nations. They interviewed more than 25,000 people face to face in 60 different languages. What did they discover? Well, clearly the uh, most religious place on earth. Luis Lugo is with the prestigious Pew Research Center. His team found that people who live south of the Sahara Desert and stretching all the way to the tip of Africa are seeking after God unlike in any other region of the world, including Europe and the United States. The overwhelming majority of those here said religion is very important to them. Most people believe in one God and in heaven and hell. They say the Bible is the literal word of God and a vast number believe Jesus will return in their lifetime. From uh, the importance of religion in people's lives to attendance at religious services, to believe in God, uh, to uh, prayer, you name it, one after another, uh, Africa ranks uh, at the highest level in terms of global comparisons. Lugo says Christianity in particular is exploding. In 1900, there were 7 million Christians in sub-Saharan Africa. That number is up 70-fold today to a staggering 470 million. Christians are now 60% of the population. That growth, uh, by any global comparison or historical comparison, has to be one of the most rapid religious transformations uh, in the history of Christianity in the last 2,000 years. Muslims have also seen a big rise in their numbers, from 11 million in 1900 to some 234 million in 2010. You can't go back to the United States without getting some of these beautiful handmade uh, crafts from Africa. You know, it's not to say that uh, the indigenous African beliefs are not being practiced today on the continent. In fact, a survey found that half of the people questioned here in South Africa believed that sacrifices to the ancestors and even spirits can protect people from harm. And the Pew survey shows that despite the dominance of Christianity and Islam, traditional African religious beliefs haven't diminished. CBN News came across a group of traditional faith healers preparing for a ceremony. We believe that God can talk to us through our ancestors. There are many people, especially in the rural villages, who hold fast to this and other practices. Nonetheless, Jacques Vernon could never have imagined today's phenomenal growth of Christianity. Born in the Central African nation of Gabon to Swiss parents, Vernor says he was 20 years old when he got the calling from God to be a missionary to Africa. In those days, I never preached before big congregation. 57 years later, he leads one of the largest churches in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He has 60 other churches around the country. And like his fellow pastor in Soweto, Vernot says he bears witness to the power of God in people's lives. God is doing something special for Africa in our days. And despite the crushing poverty, hunger, disease and famine that millions of Africans face each day, researchers discovered that the people living in this region rank the highest in the world in terms of their optimistic outlook. Africans uh, sometimes have been described as incurably religious, 
Uh, one can also say they are incurably optimistic. But I follow after. Back in Soweto, Pastor Mosa Sona is thrilled that Africa is on the leading edge of Christianity's growth worldwide. For years, he's been calling on the men and women of his church to lead the effort of carrying the banner of Christ to the ends of the earth. We come from a history where things were done for us. People came to us to tell us about Christ. We were the so-called dark continent, you know, and all of that. But we realize history changes. And uh, so we intentionally and proactively uh, talk around taking the gospel to other parts of the world. Yet another sign, researchers say, of Africa's dynamism and spiritual vitality. George Thomas, CBN News, in Soweto, South Africa.